Well, hey, pretty people. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I have, I always have a busy day planned, but this one is packed full of food. Hopefully food, hopefully good food. I don't know, you guys. All I'm thinking about is dessert later tonight. I'm probably gonna make it earlier in the day just so it's ready and so I can have a little taste test. It's like a dessert, <laughs> it's like a dessert with sugar. No, it's a brownie with like, you'll see. It's like peanut butter, but I don't want that to deter you. It also has like Cool Whip in it. Oh, I can't wait. It looks so scrumptious. Oh crap, I just had my to-do list up and now it's gone. <sighs> Did I delete it? That's from yesterday. And exciting because KiwiCo is sponsoring today's video. So we've got some crates to open today. Huge thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring me. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. Okay, there's also a fruit salad that I wanna make. I spent about $200 on the supplies for the fruit salad, so I better make it and it better be the most delicious thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. I need to clean my bedroom. It looks okay from this angle, but it's not. Not from this angle, okay? <laughs> and I'm not even including my closet. That is a whole video in and of itself. I'm gonna make deviled eggs. We're gonna do fireworks tonight. Exciting times. God bless America and all that good stuff. So I'll share a little clip of that with you. You guys seemed to enjoy it last year. And, oh my gosh, let me show you my dining room. So yesterday we had a couple people come and pick some things up. We posted on Marketplace the table. Our dining room table is gone. It's bittersweet. We've had it for, oh gosh, 16 years. And then the grandfather clock that was in the corner, that is gone too. They came at almost exactly the same time. I posted this, but I think because I put so much blood, sweat, and tears into this, I posted it for a price, so maybe I'll just put free on that and then that'll be gone in a moment's notice too. But it's so wild to see this dining room empty. The box, I got a new table. That's been here for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. So I don't know if we're gonna set that up today. I don't know if we're gonna have time because there's like a whole bike parade and you know stuff that we're, we have planned to have fun with the kids and stuff. So I'll show you that. But oh, also today, the thrift store that I wanted to go to was closed. The antique store, I don't know what it's called. The place, I have like a hutch. Well, I don't have a hutch. They have a hutch that I would like to purchase. So I want to bring you along there with me. So I'll add that in to this vlog too, just so it's a little cohesive. And it, hopefully it'll be a short trip. I don't know. I'm excited to go there. It's a place that I've been wanting to go to, but it's in a location that I don't normally frequent. So that'll be nice to go there. I've been thinking a lot about this room. I finally ordered chairs. I mean, this room is like two years in the making. I just kept dragging my feet because I don't really know what to do. I want, also want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of that. I have not bought a new light fixture yet. And then also getting rid of that. Any takers? Maybe I'll keep this just for fun. <laughs> but I was thinking a table here, obviously, with the chairs. I Well, I'll, ma I'll make that a surprise when I pull out the chairs. I finally ordered it, but the um, hutch will go here. I wanted a taller one, but I don't know if it's gonna work out. And then I thought about maybe putting the hutch here, I don't know, or a bench or something as like a landing zone because we do dump stuff here and it just ends up on the floor. So having something there would be nice. And then um, because we'll also be getting rid of this. Oh my gosh, and I got a grandfather clock. Ooh, I'm excited. But probably not the same style grandfather clock that you're thinking of. It's not the same style that we had. It's something else. I know you're on the edge of your seat. So I just started tidying up my room and I found our tower of KiwiCo boxes. Huge thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring this video. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. KiwiCo is so fantastic. They offer these learning crates. They are so fun for my kids, whether it's sensory play or science-based. They're all STEAM-based boxes, which stands for science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So regardless of which option you pick, because these boxes are good for anyone ages zero to 105. They have something for everyone. They have all kinds of crate options. My favorite is the Panda Crate, watching Wolfgang explore, or really all of my kids. I think I had it even when Wentworth was little. That's how long we've been doing the KiwiCo crates. This is the Panda Crate. They have some for younger. Wolfgang has been exploring them. And peek what's inside. Just really great quality learning toys. And it's so much more than that. It comes with educational booklets. My bigger kids love the KiwiCo crates too. 
I love it because it gets them off of their screen times and diving in to create something that they really love. Some of the crates have been more exploring, so it gets them outside, exploring nature. This one's for Meredith, and whenever the KiwiCo crates come in, she's always like chomping at the bit to open them because they're that exciting, the kids love them. There's always something fun for them to do inside, and it's all about learning. And like I said, it's for kids of all ages. They have nine different lines, and so there's something for every age, every interest, yes, even newborn. It's delivered to my door. It always has fun, hands-on projects. You can either subscribe and get monthly crates or you can get individual crates from the KiwiCo store. They also make amazing gifts. We've given plenty as gifts for birthdays or holidays and I feel like it's a great summertime treat. So each crate comes with everything that you need for the project. It even comes with kid-friendly instructions that are easy for them to do independently. And then they can also dive deeper into the, whatever subject the crate is because each crate also comes with a kid-friendly magazine. I just love KiwiCo. It's just so fun and enriching. Every crate is designed by their experts to inspire excitement, curiosity, and moments of discovery, and then tested by real kids kids to make sure that it actually does those things. It's super convenient that I don't have to do the research to like put all of these things together. It is already there for me inside of the crate. So if you're interested in getting KiwiCo to learn more, you can use my link in the description box below and you can use my code THEWADS and that will get you 50% off of your first month, which is a huge discount. Let me know what project you get. Even have one that's food related. I didn't get that one, but we, I will head to the kitchen to make some food. Oh my word, what the heck? You guys, I got this from the thrift store. Isn't this darling? It's so much cuter than the one that I have. The one I have is, is a cake stand, but if you flip the top upside down, it can double as one of these. You know, like, I don't know what this is called. I'm not fancy enough. A trifle holder, whatever it is, a glass, a present, a, a vase, a rose by any other name. A very big cheers. <laughs> glass, right? Anyway, this was $6. No, it wasn't. It was three. It was half off. Holy crap. Best $3 I've ever spent. Anyway, I just was trying to get the tag off and I was going to scrub it off, but I just ran some warm water over it instead of, you know, some people use a blow dryer, but I just ran warm water and it came right off. So that was perfect. That's what I'm going to put the fruit in to display it. I have a, I have very big ideas. Okay. We're having a few people over, uh, but I'm trying to keep it low key. You guys know I'm not very good at doing that. So I'm going to make some convenient brownies. Let me grab a bowl. All right, bad news. I have a semi nice dish, nine, it's like oval, nine by 13 ish, but um, it has leftovers in it right now, so I can't use that. Not sure if this happens to anyone else. Remember when I had 18 pair of scissors in here? 18 pairs, that's 36 scissors and now I have zero it's fine I can use a knife but also I'm annoyed life goes on I'm gonna throw together oh man is this bowl too small oh it's all the little things that frustrate me I'm gonna cry I am I'm on I'm this close I'm on the edge you know how to do it a little bit of water a little bit of oil and a couple of eggs mix it up 48 stirs exactly, and then dump it into the pan. I'm gonna start cutting up my fruit, and last time I did the strawberries, uh, they molded pretty quickly, like within a couple of days, and I think it's because I only washed them with water, and that's my fault. I know you can throw vinegar in here too, baking soda is a good one, vinegar and baking soda, but I just use this Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, and it works just fine, just as well. So I'm gonna throw, oops, is that warm water? I'm gonna um, start rinsing my berries. And then I think the other stuff just comes in a casing, like melon, oh, the blueberries I have to rinse. Anyway, I'm gonna make a beautiful fruit salad type of thing. I feel like if you put the soap in after the water, it won't foam up like this. <laughs> Disappearing strawberries. But either way, it'll get the job done. I'm just gonna let them soak for a little bit and really like get the disgustingness off of it. This is so unlike me. <laughs> That doesn't seem like $8 worth of berries. Oh, but it is. Actually, two of them fell to the bottom of the sink and I just didn't see them because of all of the bubbles. But otherwise, yeah, it was two pints. I don't know, I think it was $8. I think they were actually on sale. 
Strawberries have been on sale lately, and I actually just got some today. It's been a, several days since I filmed this, and I really want to make my strawberry fluff salad. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you guys know, you know. I feel like I haven't really made it on uh, on YouTube in a while. I try to always share new recipes. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. Sometimes my favorites slip in uh, as a duplicate. But for the for like a rule of thumb, I like to just try new recipes. So I'm not sharing the same thing over and over again. But there are some recipes that I love that I'd like to share with you. Um, just in case you haven't seen it before and strawberry fluff salad is definitely one of those because I haven't made it. Maybe I made it last year for summer, but again, I don't think I shared it on the tubes. I definitely shared it a couple of years ago. So it's at least been a couple of years since you've seen it and maybe you're new and you haven't seen it. You know what I mean? I don't want to leave you out. I don't want you to not know about this amazing strawberry fluff salad because it might change your life. That's how dramatic it is. You know what I mean? It's basically strawberries, marshmallows, yes, in a salad. Also, Cool Whip, pound cake. Uh, I know. Are we getting somewhere or what? And then also maybe like cream cheese or something to blend in there. What else? Oh, sweetened condensed milk. Yeah, I don't know why it's called a salad. It basically just means that everything's mixed together. But nothing healthy about this salad at all, except for the strawberries that are covered in sugar. <laughs> Natural sugar with the strawberries and then artificial sugar for the rest of it. But it is always a crowd pleaser and it's so, so, so dang good. You can look up, uh, up on Pinterest. You'll probably find it there. I don't know if you'll find the recipe that I follow unless you follow me on Pinterest. And so I don't know. Listen, Pinterest is so hard. I recently got signed out of all of my... Um, like everything on my computer. So email, YouTube, literally everything I'm logged into, my music site, the royalty-free jams that I have for my videos, really just the intros, the uh, just everything, everything you can even imagine I was logged out of. And I don't save my passwords. Everything's just saved on my computer. So I was lost for a really long time. And why, why was I talking about that? Oh, because Pinterest, I was also logged out of. And I was like, I don't know my, pa I don't even know my login to Pinterest. I had to go on my phone to find the login. It's an email that I haven't used, I don't know, since I was in college. And I thought, man, like I have no backup. If I lose my Pinterest. So anyway, I figured it out. I figured out my password. I think I wrote it down somewhere this time, but I may have changed it. I don't even remember because I can't change it. I can't log into my original Pinterest password. But does that ever happen to you? Where like everything is logged out. I'm like, what? That This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> it's the most stressful, right? Speaking of stressful, I did a voiceover for like three videos. And then my, it's a long story, but I lost it all. So I'm redoing it. So good times over here. Let the good times roll. This is the trifle. And oh my gosh, was it impressive and delicious. So much more I can say about this. Uh, it was a crowd pleaser nonetheless. And the topping was supreme. About to make it. I'm gonna throw the topping on. I don't even really know what to call this. Just like a cream topping. So I have eight ounces of cream cheese, just a block of cream cheese. I softened it up and beaters would be ideal for doing this, but mine broke and I have yet to buy new ones. And I have some Greek yogurt. This is going to add a lot of flavor. I've never made anything like this before, so I'm excited to try it out. Just a splash of vanilla and a big squeeze of honey. And I'm gonna do the juice of one lemon in here. These lemons are looking real sad, but not as sad as this one because it's a lime, first of all, but it's seen its day, sorry. Actually, it might be juicy on the inside. Let's check out. I'm gonna pass on that. I give this a nice mix and try to whisk out all of the lumps. All right, I think I did a pretty good job there. It's looking nice and thin, no lumps, no clumps. Now I'm gonna throw in a container of Cool Whip, and I definitely overfilled my fruit bowl. You could use this as like a, uh, a fruit dip. That looks good, tastes good. Just gonna add the topping straight on here. I'm trying not to overthink it, but this is definitely gonna overflow. I think it'll be fine. I don't know how we're gonna use a spoon to get the stuff out of here. <laughs> Not as cute as the picture, but she'll do. Oh my gosh, will she do? She will also do in a magazine called Vogue. I left some of the like fruit dip on the side and that was depleted too because people put it on their plates. Not gonna lie, this doesn't really make sense as being the most functional, 
way to serve fruit, but it is really cute. And uh, I have no idea how we're gonna dig a spoon in there. Like Meredith just asked for just cantaloupe. I'm like, I don't know, kid. <laughs> Maybe someone else will have some cantaloupe at the party. Um, okay, the brownies are done. They're gonna cool. And I, oh, deviled eggs. I'm gonna throw some deviled eggs together, but easy and convenient way. Cause you know me, I'm just roaming around. I need to get to the very top cabinet, way up there. Okay, I have this really awesome, this was sent to me years ago and clearly I suck at washing dishes. That's not news. Anyway, look how many eggs this will hold. First of all, second of all, easy for transport. It's not like round or weird or has a, you know, domed lid. It's perfect and it holds so many eggs. I think a dozen, 24 in here, like a dozen eggs, obviously 24 halves. I have two of these um, and then I'm gonna use the Costco eggs that are already boiled and cooked, come in a package. Some people say they're a little rubbery. I say they're a lot convenient and I'll take the rubber taste. <laughs> All right, let's knock these out. Um, deviled eggs is not my favorite thing to make. I'm usually horrible about the salt ratio. Last time I made them, oh my gosh, I put like a tablespoon of salt. They were horrible, absolutely horrible. I ended up just, you know, scooping the insides out and then cutting up the egg whites and throwing them in a salad. <laughs> it's like, I have to save this somehow, but there's no way that I can serve these deviled eggs. So this time around, I think I put the smallest amount of salt in there and that was plenty. So I have to watch out. You know, sometimes I make mistakes too. By the way, that egg was completely frozen. I don't know what the heck is going on in my fridge. Sometimes it depends on where I put stuff, but it like freezes. Anyway, the way that I make my deviled eggs is super simple, nothing groundbreaking. I don't add anything crazy, or maybe I do. I just crush up the egg yolks. I use a pastry blender to do that. Add a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of hot sauce, Frank's Red. That's my secret ingredient. Gives it a little, ooh, what's that? It doesn't make it spicy because I don't add that much, but it just makes it really good. And a sad story, when I put these in the cooler, I think they like shook around, but I think they all got eaten. I don't know, really. I was tending to the baby while most of the food was being served, so that's life. Anyway, here they are, looking all cute. I'm gonna make the topping for the brownies. I have eight ounces of cream cheese softened, and I tried to get all the clumps out of it. I'm going to add one cup of confectioner's sugar, and then one cup of peanut butter. I'm not gonna measure this, I just do a couple hefty spoonfuls. And then the last ingredient is, well for the top, well it's not even the last, don't listen to me. I'm gonna throw in eight ounces of whipped topping. I'm gonna give this a mix. I'm just gonna top it once it's all mixed with the peanut butter mixture. The brownies, someone snuck some, but I think we'll be fine. We made a lot. And then I'm gonna throw some M&Ms on top. This is kind of like a Buckeye instead of putting like melted chocolate on top and letting it harden, I guess the M&Ms are kind of like the chocolate bit. You could do peanut butter M&Ms, but I don't know. I thought these would be good. You should probably should do, you probably should do peanut butter M&Ms, but don't listen to me, do whatever the heck you want. I probably won't be making this again. I'm not a huge fan of the cream cheese. Like even in frosting, cream cheese frosting on a red velvet cake, I don't care. I don't like it. I don't like cream cheese and frosting and this is no different. I would have much preferred just the Cool Whip and peanut butter and maybe sweetened condensed milk or something like that, like something else. I, I was not, mm, I wasn't into this, but you know what, it got needed and it was a crowd pleaser, just not from me. So we were at the barbecue. I came home to get my bathing suit on, clearly. He has already been in the pool, yes. And he was hungry. And you have boogers. And he was hungry, so I, you know, obviously, I brought him home. Alex dropped me up, he's gonna pick me back up, but before, uh, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna just tidy up my kitchen. I'm gonna tidy up my kitchen. Whatever I can, do what I can in the time that I have. This is still dirty, but I don't even care anymore. Everything in my life is dirty. One day it won't be. And apparently I'm gonna look back on these days and miss, miss the good old days. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, some days are really challenging, especially when there's, you know, when you have little ones and you go places and the schedule is weird and you're like, oh, they're hungry. Well, but there's nothing like, how are we gonna, 
make this work. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Life happens and we do our best to accommodate our little ones and make them as happy as can be. But sometimes things don't always work out, especially with little babies. Like they don't know any better. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is uh, we had a good time at the pool. It's always a good time. I hope you're getting a, a glimpse into like our life because this is what really happens. Like almost every day we go out and do something and, uh, you know, there's still housekeeping to be done around the house. So, uh, you know, we got to take care of that too in between living life and all that good stuff. So this is just how we do it. I think the kids, oh no, I'm emptying the dishwasher. Yeah. Because I think the kids are in the pool. No, no, no. We, we just came home. See, all, I'm all kinds of messed up. They The kids normally empty the dishwasher at the end of the day slash afternoon. See, I can't even remember. Whatever. The kids usually empty the dishwasher. Sometimes I do it and that's fine too. Fill it up with my water because you got to hydrate to purify that soul. I'm also listening to Russell Dickerson. I feel like maybe not right now, but or I think maybe I'm looking for something on my phone to try to find out. Oh, that I was trying to find out what song I like to listen to. He's got a couple songs where the beat hits differently and it kind of sounds like a throwback song from the 80s. And I really like that. So anyway, I've been enjoying Russell Dickerson lately. He's He pumps me up when I'm cleaning. And uh, I like that, especially when like the baby's sleeping on me. Yeah, see, I told you, it pumps me up. I like to listen to good jams. It uh, it, it just changes your mood sometimes. when When you're listening to certain music that you enjoy... Hopefully it changes your mood for the better, right? Okay, so actually I didn't get to clean beforehand before I left. This was when we came home. I had gone to the pool, so I'm looking a little disheveled. Everyone came home and I think they're doing showers and stuff. So I'm dealing with the kitchen because I'm baby wearing and he's sleeping. So I was like, okay, perfect opportunity to take advantage of this, right? And so that's what I'm doing. And oh, the towel's that's what I wanted to mention. You can see them on the back right corner there hanging on a chair. I love them. They save so much space. The only thing I would do differently is order the extra large. I only ordered the large size and they are fine. They're big enough, but I would, I would order the extra large if I were to go back and, uh, do it again. If someone ever asked me, Hey, do you have any regrets in life? I'd say, yeah, man, you know, those really cool, super absorbent, but compact towels that I bought, I would buy those in the extra large size. (laughs) Anyway, they are super absorbent and fast drying, just like they say they are. And I love them because I can pack them all and they take up hardly any space. So that's my favorite thing. Uh, in life just about now, especially during the summertime when we're going places and we need towels everywhere we go, you know, and yep, moving on. What am I doing? The dishwasher, loading the dishwasher. I have recently learned the proper way to load this thing. I never really realized it before, but I was loading the dishes the wrong way, like, and just turning them around. That's all. And it fixed the issue. And now they all get clean and it's a wonderful time. And uh, I throw in my Blue Land tablet. I really like the Blue Land tablets. The other day, someone came over and they were like, "What is that?" And I said, "Oh, these are well." At first, I said, "Well, it's candy. Want to try one?" <laughs> but no, it's not. It's uh, the Blue Land dishwasher tablets. They don't come in any. They're plastic free. They're great for the environment. And uh, when they come to you, they come in recyclable packaging. So it's great for the environment and it does a really good job cleaning. So I, I stocked up on that. I also have the laundry tablets too. And I have the cleaning spray. Um, I do need to buy more of that because I don't think I have any left. So I do need the tablets for the cleaning bottles that I have. But other than that, yeah, uh, they smell really nice. Uh, the Blue Land Cleaning, hashtag non-spons. Like, it's just really fantastic and I like the products. I actually got them from Thrive Market because at the time, Thrive Market was having a sale and uh, the products were more affordable on Thrive Market. So uh, one or the other, you get to pick how you want to buy them if you even want to. I'm not, I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not saying a word, not a single word, except for the five million other words that I've said during this video. Time to wipe my counter down. Everything looks better when it's wiped down slash when the floors are clean. I actually, we just had dinner not too long ago and I need to clean my floors because it's been a couple of days since I've done that. And I can really tell when it's time to clean my floors because when Wolfgang crawls around, his knees will get dirty. And I'm like, oh, I feel like a horrible person. But it's just inevitable, people walking in and out. And, uh, you know, I'm doing my best to keep up with everything. It's not as easy as it seems when you're trying to also live your life and make memories and, you know, 
just do all the things that you're supposed to do while also doing all of the things that you have to do, you know? But we somehow we make it work, don't we? We do our best to make it work anyway. All right, cleaning up. Oh my gosh, that watermelon in the back. I still have yet to cut it. Ooh, how long has it been? It's actually only been a couple of days, so I think I'm okay, but I do need to cut it before uh, we leave on our trip. By the time you're watching this, I think maybe we're back from our trip, and uh, ask me how it is. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how it is. Hopefully, I've shared some clips with you here and there and all around. I swear the battery of this camera is almost, it holds for like two seconds and then it tells me it's dying. Oh, the summer fun board. I feel like we made this board, right? Or attempted it. I mean, it didn't come out that great. So what's next? Oh, fall. Seriously, that's the next. And then winter wonderland. Hold on. Let's back this up a little bit. I know for you, 4th of July has passed. Anytime boards. Princess board. Springtime. I feel like I'm missing. God, this is a beautiful boards book, by the way. I get a lot of questions about this. Am I even showing you? Um, I, I just I basically use it, I mean, one, as inspiration, especially the breakfast boards and the Christmas winter boards. If you've seen me create a few of these and they never turn out quite as well. Okay, here's, it's coming up quite as well as they look in the book, but like I've made this one before, epic fail. I made Santa Claus. I mean, it's just pretty funny at this point, actually. I feel like I should just keep making them because it's like so ugly that it's funny. Uh, this one seems simple enough, but I'm sure if I tried it, it would be an epic fail. Anyway, I feel like, oh, breakfast and brunch. Wait, are we celebrating? Oh, look, another ultrasound. <laughs> Do we celebrate? The red, white, and blue. I'm sick of looking at that um, summer fun board. So, oh, some more is maybe some more. So that might be the next best thing. I can look at cookies all day. That's for sure. I knew there was an American flag board here. So uh, just for a reference, I think I saw that and I must have just skipped over that. But since 4th of July is over now, I mean, we can celebrate America any day, but I, I really like that s'mores board. Not to be confused with smorgasbord. Welcome to my laundry room again. I know it's your favorite place to be. I know it's my favorite place to be. Don't know why that extra step isn't taken. Um... I did a load of laundry this morning, and look at that. Alex threw it in the dryer for me. He's really good about that. I threw towels in, and I've been doing the sanitizer mode again. I came off of doing the sanitizer, what is it called? Station sanitize? I don't know, it's a, a cycle, there we go. And I started to do the normal cycle for a while because of time, right? Because the normal cycle only takes like 38 minutes, and the sanitize takes 120 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes. So it takes a little bit longer, but oh my gosh, it's so worth it. I don't know if it, like my towels were smelling so gross when I got out of the shower. Like they don't look great. I could have bleached them or something, but I didn't. I just used normal stuff. And then I used the um, sanitizer stuff that I got from Costco. It's too high. It's probably horrible that I put it up here. Oh, there's a stool there. I still can't reach it. Here we go, I can chew hard things. I got this Lysol stuff that I've used before, but I found it at Costco for a great price. Look how large this hunk of chunk is. So I've been using that, and I feel like that really helps my laundry. Anyway, I feel like there's nothing worse, absolutely nothing is worse, than getting out of a shower and then drying off with a towel that smells like Garbage. Garbage, mildew, whatever you want to call it. I mean, literally, there's a million things worse than that, <laughs> but you catch my drift. It's just a little annoying thing, so I'm trying to work on keeping up with laundry. I, it's nearly impossible, but I'm doing my best. I like to stay busy. Like, I like when he falls asleep on me. I haven't been able to shower yet or, like, change into normal clothes because, obviously, he's sleeping on me. And I could try to transfer him, but for me, it's like not worth it because then if he wakes up during the transfer and then he's like cranky because he didn't get a good nap, I'd rather just hold off, you know? So anyway, I 
enjoy when he falls asleep on me like this because then I feel like I'm able to get some stuff done around the house. So I feel a little bit more productive that way, which is nice. There's always a million and 20 things to get done. Apparently, by the way, a little house update, because every time I come in this laundry room, I'm reminded of like the house and, and laundry, especially because I haven't been able to put any of Wentworth's laundry away. Look how dang cute this is. And it's so sad because he's growing out of it, but I like shove it on him. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, it's three months. That's why he's growing out of it. <laughs> he fits in like 12 months. Little house update. Not, I mean, not much at all. It's kind of like a blip, not even a blip. But they haven't been here in weeks. And the last update I shared, it was like another fail. I don't like, it infuriates me to even talk about it. But I'm always reminded when I'm doing laundry because I can't put Wentworth's clothes away and I, Avelina hasn't even been sleeping in her room because she has asthma and there's like dust and crap everywhere. We can't like clean it all, like they're not finished. Oh my, I, I don't even get me started, okay? But just a little bit, I'll like step my toe in. So she's been going upstairs and sleeping upstairs. So like she doesn't have a closet. All her clothes are all like spread across all over town. Thank goodness it's summertime. Oh my gosh, I can't even. And then Wentworth's closet, obviously also not finished because it's the same closet. Well, kind of, okay. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. If you don't, eh, well, you don't, that's fine too. But, now see, I don't even know what I was saying. Okay, hard for them to put clothes away. We're no stranger to making things work and uh, cramming into smaller spaces. Cause, But on that same token, um, where we just were, they had a pool, obviously. I'm not a huge fan of pools. Our last house had a pool and I probably swam in it like two times, literally the entire five, six years we lived there. Good afternoon, buddy. Hi. Hi. Anyway, during the summer, my gosh, it's so hot. And the lake is hot, so it's not like we can just say, okay, kids, go in the lake. Like, it's not refreshing, it's not great. So I've been talking with Alex, like, oh, maybe when the addition is done in a year, we have, we, maybe by that time we've been able, we would be able to save up enough money to uh, do a pool. I don't know, maybe in three years, four years, even five years, the little kids will still get so much out of it. And even Avelina in five years, what she'll be, ew, she'll be almost 18 in five years. Okay, don't talk to me. Don't, t just don't remind me of that right now. Actually, don't I? But even at 18, like, they, she'll still get a ton of use out of the pool. You know what I mean? There's no age limit on a pool. So I think that's our next project. I've never been a huge fan of pools, but man, oh man, it gets so hot in the summertime. It's, I think it will really be something nice to have. So we've been kind of dipping our toe and daydreaming about that because um, I think really what it is is just a distraction for us to take our mind off of what's actually happening with the addition. Okay, well, I'm sorting laundry like a sloth, so I'm gonna go a little faster. But before that, you tell me, oh gosh, I'm, look, I'm looking real fresh. Tell me, do you have a pool? Do you love it? Do you wish you didn't? Also, do you live in Florida? I feel like no one regrets having a pool. The maintenance of it is a lot. I mean, we've had a pool before. I know like all of that, but we're thinking of not getting a cage over it. That's another thing. Cages are expensive, like, like screens and uh they keep debris out but that picture i flashed on the screen with the pool and the waterfall that's the one that alex was like oh yeah and i thought are you joke like what do you think our budget is <laughs> in my mind i'm thinking of like the most basic pool with maybe a fancy like walk-in you know how some pools these days have that you just walk in there aren't any stairs it just kind of like gets deeper and deeper anyway so i thought oh yeah let's have one of those and he's like, yeah, let's get a slide and a waterfall, which I'm sure would be absolutely lovely. And also the kids would love it because of the slide. But oh, I can't even imagine how much extra that would cost. So we have yet to price anything out again where it's just like a pipe dream at this point. Who knows when we'll do it or if we'll do it. But it's definitely something that I want to do. And I thought I'd never say that because I was the type of person who looked for a house without a pool. <laughs> and here we are. But uh, and our last house had a pool, but I think the kids would benefit from it so much. It's chaos out there. There. I freshened up a little bit. Feeling 5% better. Um, 
I was feeling better and then I walked into my room. I'm, not, I'm no longer feeling good about this situation. <laughs> I need to tackle this. I, I don't even want to walk in here. I don't even want to sleep in here. I don't like being in here. So um, a lot of this stuff needs to go elsewhere. Like I was going through different areas in our house decluttering. There's still some decluttering stuff from when I decluttered our linen closet. Um, obviously new clothes from thread up and like 500 new pairs of shoes and stuff. So um, Without further ado Let's just tidy this place up. Okay Sometimes you just need to pump yourself up and uh, throw on some t-swift and do it right just do it and live That's my motto Because I just could not look at this place any longer in with the state that it was in it was horrible. I feel like I just needed someone to tell me, clean your room, Kim, you know? And I'm usually pretty good. Like the rest of the house is fine. It's just, you know, this is our dumping ground and this is the place where I kind of close the door and people don't usually come in, but obviously sometimes they do come in and then I'm completely mortified. I'm like, oh my gosh, I guess this is the person I am. This is, this is who I've become, <laughs> a hoarder. But really, you know, you make a mess. You clean it and life goes on and it's not really a big deal. I feel like things like this tend to happen when life is busy. Also, I have a, I have a baby. I, I need to give myself as much grace as I would give someone else. Like I still have a small baby who is very attached to me, very needy. And that's, that's how babies are. It's not, you know, groundbreaking or anything like that, even though he is a little bit more needy than anyone else, any other babies that I've ever met, okay? About five of them. But he's very similar to the first baby that I've had. And I wish I could just go back in time and like give myself a hug because I used to think I was just like the worst mom and I didn't know what I was doing. And, and really, I just had a high needs baby and I didn't have anyone to tell me that you know, high needs babies exist. I don't know. I just, I, I had no one and... um I don't, I just, it's really sad. I just thought that I was just a horrible mom. And anyway, turns out every baby is different as all that was. And I was just doing my best just like I am now. And my kids are, my kids are actually pretty great. I don't know how to fold a sleeping bag. I learned that about myself this day. It was Avelina sleeping bag, but you know, her closet is being redone, not redone, but like turned into a hallway so she doesn't have a closet so that was bulky so I said okay you can put it in my room so it's just been hanging out in my room and you know it's just all these things and I don't know what to do with them so then I just throw them in my closet and that's why my closet looks like a, the second dumping ground of our house don't even get me started about our garage we have to make, make multiple trips to the do donation center soon but it will happen I'm jamming out to T-Swift what song am I singing can't even read my own lips. And I was listening to the song. Maybe, oh, you know what it was? Because I don't. 10 minute version? All too well? All too well. I'm pretty sure that's what I just said. I remember it. Yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. The, the part where, oh my gosh, it's such a good song, right? Isn't it? It's not just a song. It's like, it's a movie, really. When he's like sipping coffee with my dad. And then, you know, I sat there all night staring at the door, willing you to come. And he said, it's supposed to be fun turning 21. Oh, oh my gosh, the tears. She's such an incredible songwriter. Um, I've been listening to her new album. Unbelievable. The Sometimes the first time I listen to a song, I'm like, this is boring. It's the worst. And then I'll listen to it a couple more times. And it's like my favorite song of all time. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe. See, because sometimes you just got to listen. Okay. And really listen. Here I am still going. I just can't stop. It's so good. Her album. I just had a few of her albums going on repeat or I had a random playlist of them, but throw on any music that you like and it'll hype you up. I don't care if it's screamo. I don't care if it's nineties country. I don't care if it's, I don't know, no doubt. <laughs> Actually, they've got some pretty good stuff. I heard Gwen Stefani is coming out with a new song slash new album. Good for her. I can't wait to hear it. Or maybe it's already out. I don't know. You know what? I feel bad for my poor closet because I just keep shoving more stuff in there. I'll get to it. It was on my to-do list to do this week, but I just don't think that I'll get to it. <laughs> I keep pushing it to the bottom. It's fine. No one sees it. It's just me. It's like the, a visual representation of like, I put myself last. <laughs> That's what my closet is. I'll get to it eventually, but it's just not going to happen yet. 
you know, once, once everything else is taken care of, then I'll take care of myself and uh, spend a day doing it. You know why? It's because I know it's going to take me an entire day and maybe more to get through, but it's, it's high on my list of things to do once we get back from our trip. And th- this is actually Wolfgang's laundry basket. And I'm just putting his laundry away, folding some of his blankets and all that good stuff. It's just the, you know, the normal, typical things. Oh, and you know what? Okay. So there's a target bag on my dresser. I'm going through just some clothes that I just throw there all the time. And that's a bad habit, but that's a habit that I have, uh, that I've come to do and, you know, I've accepted that. Anyway, so the Target bag that's on my nightstand there, which, by the way, I plan to redo my room once everything is done and I was going through, going antiquing. Did I, did you already see that or is that coming up? I can't remember. Oh, it should be, who the heck knows what order I'm placing these, but I went antiquing. If you follow me on Instagram, I found some amazing things. So, but I keep looking at stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, when I redo my room, this is it. <laughs> like This is the vibe. And it's probably completely different from what I'm actually going to choose. So, you know, life is a roller coaster of emotions. Anyway, in that Target bag, I emptied out one of my purses. I think what I, the one that I uh, brought to the hospital to give birth in, that's the last time I used it really. So I emptied it out because I used it the other day for something. And when you know what, I found an ultrasound picture, like one of the worst ultrasound pictures I've ever had in my life. Like I could, even I couldn't decipher the face in there. Okay. I mean, I kind of could, but you know what I mean? Like you look at some and you're like, oh, but others you look at and you're like, oh, huh. Ugh, you know, anyway. So in that bag, it was mostly garbage, but I had like old mascara and receipts and just, you know, random stuff. So I ended up just throwing it in a bag to deal with later because I didn't have the time to deal with it at the moment. And here we are looking so fresh. I finally went through those bags and it feels good. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Now I can breathe in my own room, which is saying a lot (laughs) because, you know, they say your bedroom is supposed to be your sanctuary. It has never been that for me. It's always been like a multi-purpose room for us because we've always been in spaces where it has needed to be that. So anyway, Life goes on and uh, we make it work, right? And what I just showed you was one of his newborn onesies. I wasn't ready to get rid of that one yet. So I did keep it and uh, I just threw it in the back of the drawer. I don't know where that was from. It must have just gotten dropped somewhere and finally made its way back. But a newborn onesie, so dang cute. By the way, I didn't do my floors in this video. I think I explained we had company over. So I was like trying to finish up. You know, they had just come over trying to finish up so we can spend time with them. But I did inevitably uh, do my floors. So all good with that. I just didn't show it, but it does feel nice and fresh in here. And it feels so good. Blaring out to old school T Swift over here. And I'm so glad that I tidied up. I still have to do the floors, but um, there are people here and I don't wanna be rude. (laughs) And I need to bring this to the kitchen. And I have a bunch of stuff to bring to the garage uh, to like break down the boxes and put in the donate pile and stuff like that. But this, oh my gosh, I can breathe. Wasn't that a show, you guys? (laughs) 
Well, after our little fireworks show, I refuse to buy mortars. I think they're way too dangerous. But we went on our neighbor's dock. And why did we even buy fireworks? Why did I waste my money on that? I mean, obviously, the kids love the sparklers and they love our private show. But coming out here, I think next year is just what we're going to do. We're going to camp out here, get ourselves a little set up and just watch all the neighbors <laughs> light off all their stuff too. I thought it was just so beautiful sitting out here watching it all. And they went on four hours. I mean, look at that. Look, no crowd, no one to wrestle with. I mean, it's fantastic. One year we went to the beach and at first, when it first started, we thought this is amazing. This is perfect. Um, and then it quickly escalated into being the most dangerous situation I've ever been in my entire life. And we had small kids and we were like, we got to get out of Dodge. So we ended up leaving and we we're like, uh, we're never doing that again ever. So this I think is the second best option. Check out all these fireworks. We didn't have to spend any money on them. Uh, we're just enjoying the view. <laughs> You know, so I think next year, this is what we're going to do. Let me know what you guys did on 4th of July, if you celebrated and listen, people around our neighborhoods since 4th of July was on a Tuesday, they celebrated like all week long. I don't know what the heck all weekend, all the week, the week before they were setting off fireworks. I mean, it's crazy. I know some people have a very strong opinion about fireworks. Like, oh, that's fine. Just as long as they stop before a certain hour. I get it, especially if you have pets or small kids or if you are sensitive to the sound of fireworks. It could be really challenging to get through this time of year. You know what I mean? So for us, we just have really loud sound machines for our kids, so we don't really have a problem with it. So that's nice. And um, uh, yeah, I, I don't love them, but I don't know. They, they're okay to look at. I don't know much about them. I'm sure they're not great for the environment, but we enjoyed watching them. <laughs> and they definitely looked prettier, like with the water like this too. That's what I liked when we went to the beach that one year too. But anyway, it turns out once we came inside, because, you know, sometimes the mosquitoes can get really bad. And actually this 4th of July, they said they had record-breaking highs and I definitely believe it, man, it was so hot. But anyway, once we got inside, I could even see them from our bedroom. So that was lovely. Sometimes we just sit on our back porch and watch them too, uh, depending on, you know, if the kids are over it or not. So anyway, they had, they had quite the show happening. And uh, so we really liked that. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. This is the next day. That's how close we are to the airport. <laughs> It is a new day and I have arrived at the Vintage Marketplace. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. Okay, my friend told me about this place. I didn't realize how amazing it was going to be. She told me this place was great and then also there's two more antique vintage shops nearby. She said nearby, right next door. That's great because you can just like kind of hit up all three. Well, I didn't realize literally, right? like I don't even have to drive anywhere. I can park here and walk to both of them. I'm pumped, but I'm gonna end the video here. I know, I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. You guys, I have been into a habit of like overloading my videos, having like three and a half hours of content to try to condense it down to like 40 minutes. So that will be it for this one. And then I figured for the next one, I'll shop around and then also Trader Joe's is nearby. So exciting things to come. I am pumped to go inside because just looking outside, they have so much stuff and there's a vendor here right now unloading more things, so the treasures that I will find inside on Pumpfoot. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to check out KiwiCo. I'll have my link in the description box below. You can get 50% off of your first month. So let me know what box you pick and that's my time. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.